Wayne Motts from the National Civil War Museum in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, standing inside the National Civil War Museum in our first shot gallery, one of the 17 permanent galleries here at the National Civil War Museum for our captivating story, the American Civil War for December of 2020. This is one of my personal favorites because it talks about a man that fought in combat on both sides of the American Civil War. He's wearing a blue uniform for the Union forces and then he wears a gray uniform for the Confederate forces. His name is Richard Kidder Mead. And Richard Kidder Mead was an engineering officer, a native of Virginia. He graduated from West Point in 1857, stayed on as an instructor there, and then he gets duty in South Carolina in November of 1860. Wow, bad timing, right before the American Civil War, just a month before South Carolina leaves the Union in December of 1860. When South Carolina leaves the Union, Richard Kidder Mead is in South Carolina, he's at Fort Moultrie, and then at Fort Sumter and Castle Pickney inside Charleston Harbor. On April 12, 1861, as an engineering officer inside Fort Sumter, he's one of the nine officers that we know inside this particular fort. And when the fort surrenders, he will then change sides and fight as a Confederate engineering officer during the American Civil War. He dies of disease in July of 1862. Now, if you want to learn more about more men who fought on both sides of the Civil War, stay right here on this YouTube channel for the National Civil War Museum and go to the lecture posted for 2019 that I gave about five men who changed sides and fought the Civil, the Civil War. Richard Kidder Mead is one of those five men. I sure hope you enjoyed this captivating story of the Civil War. We want to thank our friend and board member, former licensed battlefield guide, Steve Pahalik, for sponsoring this video. And if you're not a subscriber here to the YouTube channel, be sure to hit that red button and subscribe. Thanks.